hello friends welcome back hearty welcome to you let us look at this problem we have to find out the integral of secant x divided by cosecant x plus 1 so we'll try to convert this into sine and cos after that we'll see how we can move forward so let's go ahead and write down our first step will be integral of secant x by cosecant x plus 1 i can write it as i equal to integral of 1 by cos x divided by 1 by sin x plus 1 which is equal to 1 by cos x sin x divided by 1 plus sin x now we have dx Now we'll write down sin x by 1 plus sin x as 1 minus 1 by 1 plus sin x. So it will become integral of 1 by cos x into 1 minus 1 by 1 plus sin x dx. The next step will be we can separate them now. 1 is integral 1 by cos x another one is integral of 1 by cos x into 1 plus sin x dx now we know the derivative of secant x so we can write down integral of secant x dx for the second part we will take sin x equal to t we'll write down take sin x equal to t cos x equal to dt by dx or cos x dx equal to dt so dx equal to dt by cos x so what we will have here let's write down we will have integral of dx will be dt by cos x dt by cos x and we have one more cos x here and we have 1 plus t and now when we go to the next step we can finish the first one but we'll just keep it there integral of secant x dx minus dt divided by cos square x cos square x is 1 minus sin square x so can I write down 1 minus t square into 1 plus t which can be written as integral of secant x dx minus dt divided by 1 minus t square can be written as 1 plus t into 1 minus t 1 minus t square equal to 1 plus t into 1 minus t so we can write it as 1 plus t whole square into 1 minus t now we will leverage partial fractions to simplify this problem and finish it so that's equal to integral of secant x that is log secant x plus tan x we are just holding on that till we finish this now let us say this is i1 now we will take i1 and we will complete i1 and we will come back and substitute here what is i1 i1 is integral of dt by 1 minus t into 1 plus t whole square we can write it as now integral of a by 1 minus t plus integral of b by 1 plus t plus integral of c by 1 plus t whole square we have dt now let's try to get the abc values now for that we will write down 1 equal to because dt it is 1 equal to a into 1 plus t whole square plus b into 1 plus t into 1 minus t plus c into 1 minus t let us substitute some values here let us put t equal to 1 what will happen in that case b and c terms will become cancelled we get 1 equal to a into 1 plus 1 whole square is 4 
so a equal to 1 by 4 let us substitute t equal to minus 1 in that case we will have a and b cancel out we have 1 equal to minus 1 so c into 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 so c equal to 1 by 2 we still need to get the value of b for that what we will do we will compare the quotient of t square we will have quotient of t square on the left hand side is 0 on the right hand side we have a into 1 plus t whole square so I'll get a plus b into 1 minus t square so minus b that means b equal to a which is equal to 1 by 4 now once we got this we can go back and write down our i1 is equal to a by 1 minus t that is 1 by 4 integral 1 by 1 minus t dt plus 1 by 4 integral dt by 1 plus t then plus 1 by 2 integral dt by 1 plus t whole square let us integrate them now that is minus 1 by 4 log 1 minus t we get minus because 1 minus t t is having negative that's why we'll have minus 1 by 4 log 1 minus t plus 1 by 4 log 1 plus t plus 1 by 2 into integral of dt by x square dx by x square or dt by t square will be minus 1 by t so this will become minus 1 by 2 1 by 1 plus t now let us substitute t equal to sin x we will have minus 1 by 4 log 1 minus sin x plus 1 by 4 log 1 plus sin x minus half log half 1 by 1 plus sin x now we know that this i1 we have to substitute so let's go ahead and substitute what we want i we know is equal to integral of secant x we did that if you remember that is log of secant x plus tan x minus i1 what we got in i1 is plus 1 by 4 log 1 minus sin x minus 1 by 4 log 1 plus sin x plus 1 by 2 1 by 1 plus sin x plus c now we can leave it or we can simplify that further how we can simplify that i can write this as half log 1 plus sin x by cos x whole square plus 1 by 4 log 1 minus sin x minus 1 by 4 log 1 plus sin x plus 1 by 2 1 by 1 plus sin x plus c now we can simplify this these three terms we can simplify this term will be the same so when we do that what we'll have is we can write it as 1 by 2 log we can write inside 1 plus sin x into 1 plus sin x divided by cos square x that is 1 plus sin x into 1 minus sin x the remaining terms will continue as it is plus 1 by 4 log 1 minus sin x minus 1 by 4 log 1 plus sin x plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 1 plus sin x plus c we can cancel 1 plus sin x 1 plus sin x and uh, open the bracket to simplify the logarithms we'll have 1 by 2 log 1 plus sin x minus 1 by 2 log 
वन माइनस साइन एक्स प्लस वन बाय फोर लॉग वन माइनस साइन एक्स माइनस वन बाय फोर लॉग वन प्लस साइन एक्स प्लस वन बाय टू इनटू वन प्लस साइन एक्स प्लस सी व्हेन यू सिंपलीफाई दैट वी विल हैव वन बाय टू माइनस वन बाय फोर दैट विल बी वन बाय फोर माइनस वन बाय टू प्लस वन बाय फोर दैट विल बी माइनस वन बाय फोर सो वी कैन राइट इट एस द लास्ट स्टेप विल बी वन बाय फोर लॉग वन प्लस साइन एक्स माइनस वन बाय फोर लॉग वन माइनस साइन एक्स प्लस वन बाय टू इनटू वन प्लस साइन एक्स प्लस सी दैट विल बी our final answer